Looks like we're getting a little bit of the unexpected today. They actually took me by surprise for these reveals. Make sure you guys smash the eleven crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. Duel's Nexus has continued to wrap up here with more stuff. That means that tomorrow is going to be Testania, and then box reveals should be on Monday. What an absolute disappointment, but I don't need to tell you that. Them doing this little draw out over the weekend and just gives all these OTS stores and stores the chance that, you know, one to take advantage of getting things up just to punt it to Monday is ridiculous, but that's neither here nor there. So, we got slightly near the Runic main as a secret rare. Now, I don't need to be the first person to tell you that this is the centerpiece of what remains of the, the Runic package. Well, my problem with this is, if we're putting this as a secret rare at this stage, you're gonna have to kinda ask yourself, okay, but why are we making this a secret? Well, I mean, it is one of the cards in the set that is like a power card. And I mean, to be fair, it does generate the token and warps out. And you know, you can technically super poly a runic player. I don't know how you're ever gonna do that to make you know this, but it is two runic monsters to make. It is technically the only runic card to do that, but I don't need to tell you that. The thing that you care about here is your opponent adds a card from their deck to their hand, all right, except during the damage step, you get to make the runic token. All right, and then you tyrants tirade it off the field and you proceed to offer your opponent the best handshake in the whole wide world. And then your opponent's like, Wow, it's also, you know, a level eight, so you know, any tuner. If you got a level three, you can make some other shenanigans. This is strictly exists just to do some dumb things with Runic. That, that is all that I feel. In terms of value, I'll be straight up honest with you, I'm not expecting a lot of anything crazy at this stage. Uh, Slight Near should not be more than $10, period. Um, speaking of secret rare value here, I uh, these, these aren't looking too good in my opinion. And then of, in real fashion, Vices, Amatara, Amarita, whatever you want to pronounce it. Oh, by the way, so for those of you who don't know this, I, I can't believe I have to actually do this, but it's one plus tuner plus a light monster. People are like, what do you mean? Like, do I need a non-tuner for this? You can tune a tuner to a tuner to make this. It is X Saber Gotham's, literally. Got them, all right? The people are not understanding the the whole summoning requirements for this, and it has been ridiculous. I've read countless posts on the Judge Lounge and the other Facebook um, offshoot judge groups where people just don't understand this, but there you go, I helped you out. Uh, so, becomes vice as well on the field, blah, 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 we all know this. On Synchro Summon, you can add a Spell Trap card that mentions Vice of Starfrost from your deck to your hand. That's what you care about on this card. And then during your main phase, you destroy one monster. You control all Synchro monsters you control. Also, will gain 800 attack points. Okay, so we got to... If we look at Vicious Stroud here and take anything that we've learned about, you know, the cycle of the Vice's cards, to be fair, this is a lot more generic-esque than Vicious or Stroud because, you know, everything that has access to the entire Synchro database can abuse this. I, I've seen a lot of very cheesy combos that you're able to pull off with this. So, with that knowledge in hand, you might be looking at something $20 on the top end of things, but it is definitely a one of, so one big thing to consider is, you know, in terms of that extra value, you don't have to worry about, you know, the craziness lasting for necessarily too long, at least in terms of hype, which, once again, I think that's a good thing. When you can see something kind of come out relatively easily um, and be decently available, I'm actually about that. Next up is the, well, Dark World Corridor. You know, I didn't see a world where Konami didn't print this as a secret rare, to be honest with you, but it makes sense. Now, if you're like, oh my gosh, you know, like this is the sacred Dark World card. This is gonna, Bobby, this is gonna put Dark World back on the map, all right? Anybody that thinks that this card's not gonna save Dark World is bad. Okay, well, sure, it adds a Dark World monster from your deck to your hand, and then you discard a card. Now, the thing that hurts this card is the next line of text it says you can only activate one Dark World corridor per turn. All right, you are not gonna see a Dark World player playing three of these. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. If they're trying to play three of these, they just don't know how to play the deck and they're just gonna lose. Like, that's all there is to it. 
Um, you know, in terms of value, I mean, the card shouldn't cost you a lot of money. Like, if you were trying to play, you know, something relatively fun, the good news is, like, with the Dark World structure deck being a little bit more affordable than a lot of the other option trees out there, I think that's a good thing. All right, Konami's done a pretty good job at keeping a lot of this stuff relatively cheap, in my personal opinion, but on the back end of things, something's got to give. Something's got to be a little bit more expensive, at least to kind of compensate for this. But in my personal opinion right now, uh, you shouldn't be looking at too incredibly much in terms of value. Now, Angelica is an ultra rare. Emperor Charles, the Noble Arms Museum, Almace, and Angelica. That is four ultra rares that you are going to have to pick up if you want to play this deck. Now, to be fair, the Noble Arms Museum is a three of. Almace, probably going to be a three of. Angelica should be a one of. And Emperor Charles, probably going to be a two of. If I recall some list, I think we're playing two of it. I think it is two that you play. So you can distribute your value across the board for Infernoble Knight. But if you're one of the people that's looking at this right now and you're like, wow, you know, this is going to be expensive. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, it's ultras do start adding up to secret rare value the more and more that they need to be accessible for things. So if you were uh, looking at this and you're like, well, you know, I can't wait to play Infernoble Knight. Now, unfortunately, your value is going to be distributed across the board here for ultras. So, man, six ultras. That, well, actually, no, it's it should be three Almace, three Field Spell, eight, nine, all, nine, nine ultra rares to play Infernoble from this set. That's a little bit ridiculous in my personal opinion. So, yeah, I do feel bad for the Infernoble players out here. You're going to be spending a lot of money right now. Um, just for the off chance to make sure that you can even get that. And then we have X or a purely nor. This is the carry card that makes this deck even better. Because remember, nor here, two level twos to make it, blah, blah, blah. Once per turn, discard a card, target a card your opponent controls, or up to two, if you have a little sleepy memory under it as material, and then return that card to the hand, and then up to thrice per turn. When a purely quick play spell card is activated, you can attach that to this card, then you can set a purely trap directly from your deck. There are no restrictions on what purely traps you can set. Now, granted, there's not a lot of purely traps, but you can set three leaps from your deck. You, you can do that. You've also got access to purely Shirley in the deck as well, but... As, <laughs> What do you want me to tell you here? Purely players are eating pretty good. If you've already spent all the, the mass amounts of money out here on the deck, you got to pick up one Ultra and whatever rarity Shirley is going to be. So congratulations. I, I think you're eating pretty decently well here. On the wrap-up of Duel's Nexus here, um, thoughts based on everything that we got today. To be honest with you, I think the set is not looking that good. I think the things that people want in this set are going to be the quarter century secret rares. And you're only going to probably get three of those, maybe four per case. I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but when you create an alternative higher rarity, that's where the value is going to be. I I know we don't have Tistania yet, but from what I'm seeing here distributed across these already existing Seeker Rares, they're cheap. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, like, that's good for the player base, right? But for the stores that want to open up this product and get the, you know, value to recoup the cost of their product, um, unless those quarter century Seeker Rares, if we're, if we're pulling out these 40 to $50 ones out of last set, I think the buyouts are going to be even crazier than what we saw last set. And that's bad news for you here because... To be honest with you, we, we saw enough already things happening out of the last block with already existing cards getting newer higher rarity slash reprints and going crazy. But this is the first time these cards are coming out. Now they're getting these already higher rarities. So I think you're going to see a lot more expensive things on the very beginning of this set that a lot of people are going to look at and they're going to go, huh, you know, like... That's not right. There's going to be a lot more immediate dips in the market as well. And you have a lot more people kind of looking around going, hmm, do I want to pick this up now? This is going to be the real test to see where things go. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you.
Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.